Hello, I'm Randy here. We're playing Pure Farming 2018. Again, keep in mind what you're seeing here is a preview release. So not actual released gameplay here yet. Anyway, uh, if you watched last episode, we started off, just kind of looked around the game. Got a hired worker over on Plowing. Let's see what's here. Oh, uh, yeah, tablet. Uh, let's see, what's, what field was that again? Uh, the field that's over here. We're working on plowing this here at the moment. Can we enter him at all? No, I don't know. We can see what he's doing anyway. Uh, Zetor, Major 80, working on plowing there for bottom plow. <laughs> That's kind of interesting watching him turn. Uh, again, I'm assuming this is just kind of a preview map. Just one field, I think it was on the map here. Yeah, just the one field on the map here. Yeah, and I'm not sure what's all available to us here either, but uh, if we can, I wouldn't mind like checking out some animals, say some cows or something. I think that'd be pretty cool. We got over here. Rabbit cages. Ah. I'm assuming we probably have to have some feed for them first, though. Rabbit cage number three. Interesting. Anyway, this episode, I thought we'd uh, start off by buying a second tractor. And I'm assuming we probably have a cultivator somewhere, right? Or, or not? There's a trailer. Combine. Shed doors. Uh, I guess we're not supposed to go in this way, but oh well. Assume that's where the uh, storage for the grain is there. Do we not have a cultivator? Maybe we don't. Over to the shop here. So I know we only have one tractor. Let's uh, kind of look at the tractors here, see which one we want to get. Uh, again, we have the 80 at the moment. So I don't think we want to get another Zetor. I mean, we could get like the 160 or something like that. I was kind of actually looking at the McCormick here. I was thinking about getting that one. I thought that'd be kind of nice. Let's check that one out. 212 horsepower. That or, you know, we could like try the JCB as well, I thought. But, you know, I suppose we could get the JCB. Just see it once, you know, compare it to say Farming Simulator. But I rather wanted to see the McCormick, so I thought we'd get that. Is it all available? Yeah, now available. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and buy that to the shed. Okay. And let's say here somewhere what we own. I thought we had a cultivator, but I don't see one. I'm thinking, but I don't see a cedar, too, now that I think of it. Uh, cultivators. Do we not have a cedar? Cultivation. Well, I guess the cedars here are under cultivators. Okay. It's like a potato cedar there. Another potato cedar. Oh, is that a potato harvester, looks like. Okay. A couple more cedars here. What is this thing? Redlands. An exotic planter. Self-propelled. Ah, rice planter. Okay, that's what that is. Should have guessed that. Which cultivator do we want to get? Three meters. That's six and a half meters. This one here doesn't look too bad. Uh, what's that? That's six meters. A couple plows up there. Okay, let's try this uh, six meter one here. Go to the shed. And that's probably the shed right here, I would assume. Yes, yeah, so there it is. Oh, that cultivator actually looks a little bigger than I thought it would. Not that I'm complaining. Okay, so let's, uh, you know what, just pull it out of the shed here a moment, and we'll uh, take a look at it once it's outside the shed. So McCormick X7 670 Power Power Plus, I think that says. Again, I'll have to say it looks quite nice. I don't think it's quite maybe quite as detailed to say the Zetor is, but You know, I have to say, you know, like the light and the shadow on the models is really nicely done.
And I know I said this last episode as well, you'll, you'll definitely have to give it to this game. The, the graphics look quite nice here so far. Okay, let's see what's here. Unfold somehow, I'm not sure. Hard to unfold. Oh, did I hire a worker? Quit. Oh, no, no, he's moving yet. Okay. This doesn't seem like he's making much uh, progress here, I guess. That's definitely a very nice looking uh, cultivated texture. Uh, what, are hired worker turned around in the middle of the field? Uh, no. Don't tell me a hired workers are taking hints here from farming simulator hired workers here. Oh, great. I'd say a little bit, I get used to the controls here for this game versus, say, uh, farming simulator. Okay, our hired worker seems to be uh, struggling a little bit here. That's a shame. He was working quite nicely there for a while. Well, I guess that's all we can do for the moment here, because uh, we pretty much caught up with the plow. Yeah, well, what is he doing here? Seems to be, yeah, like I said, struggling a bit. He was working pretty good. I don't know what uh, happened to him. Oh, I guess maybe we didn't watch him long enough. He's actually uh, going back over what he just did. Anyway, while he uh, does that, let's just take a look at the tablet here again. Let's see, player status. Ooh, player status. Uh, sheep barn. Device is owned. Okay, so yeah, I guess we did not own a cultivator. From the looks of it. Also, I guess we don't own a cedar either. Fields owned, one field. Yay. Buildings owned, sheep barn. Covering vehicles, no vehicles to recover. Ah, okay. Selling animals. I don't want to sell animals. I'd like to buy some animals. Uh, through the tablet are 20% lower. Okay. Bank app. Oh, a contract alone. So installments of 12. That's kind of a nice way of doing it as opposed to maybe the farming simulator way of doing it. Actually, you know, pay it back. Uh, workers, yeah, we have one worker at the moment, uh, though he is seeming to be uh, struggling a little bit. Where is the cow shed here? That looks like sheep. That one is cows, right? Yes. Let's maybe head over there. Okay, yes, he has actually plow now. Kind of curious. We'll have to make a run back here once we get the cow barn. I'm assuming we can buy it anyway. That is, looks like this. Is that this one? It is. Uh, cow barn. Value 25,000. This seems a little unfinished. Is this, yeah, like, this is the cow barn, isn't it? So, can we not buy it? I guess we can't buy it. I 
Anyway, what's the hired worker doing? Is he actually going to turn around properly here? Okay, so yeah, he's turning around properly this time. I don't know what happened there. Must have had a momentarily memory loss or something and I uh, was doing something silly. Must have been talking to the farming simulator hired worker or something. Okay, anyway, uh, let's look at the cultivator here too while we're out here. Again, very nice on the detail, I have to say. The Relic XL. We'll have to uh, pay attention when we make another pass to the cultivator here, but I wonder if you see these, uh, like, springing a little bit as you're going through the ground. All, the, all these uh, cultivator tines. You know, kind of like what you in real life, you would see them kind of bouncing and springing a little bit. Anyway, back to the menu here. I want to go back to this here. Livestock buildings. Cow barn. Guess that is not finished and you cannot buy it yet. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, can we, what, can we get like sheep or something then? Oh yeah, drone starting. No. Oh no, wait, we can buy it from the drone view. Okay. Drone view, buy. Are you sure you want to buy this? Yes. Upgrade for 50,000. Oh, and it builds it too yet. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. So until you buy it, it's not finished. So for the sheep, for example. The sheep were over here somewhere, weren't they? Oh, a little uh, crazy flying the drone here. Chicken. No, those are chickens. This one, the sheep. Doesn't seem to give an option on this one. Got an icon by it, though. Those are the rabbit cages. I thought that was the sheep here. Where are the sheep here, then? Let's put the drone away. Okay, cow barn. So there's our actual cow barn, looks like. Uh, manure, milk, calves, cow, cows old, repaired fodder, farm, farm animal mass. Okay, then that sounds interesting. Buy animals. Oh, we just push I and we actually buy them. Okay, well, I probably don't really want to buy them yet because we probably should feed them, I'm going to think. I wonder if they die in this game if you don't feed them. That gives us two calves, and what were they, two, 220 a piece? So not that expensive, not compared to farming simulator anyway. I've always said the farming simulator prices seem to be a little bit outrageous, if you ask me. You know, I guess they figure while well, you're buying adult animals, but... Let's see, also seems to be getting dark out. Uh, what's the time here? Uh, 1900. Time to check out the lights then, right? That's what the lights look like in the game here. Turn lights on. F2. Front lights. Oh, some, uh, I guess those are considered high beams probably. Rear lights. Okay, well, that's not much for a rear light. Seems like we should have like some more rear working lights here or something. No, I guess we don't really see any movement here from the cultivator, do we? And this is probably just uh, my preference here, but I don't know that I'm necessarily a big fan of this stuff. Uh, texture here for either the plow or the cultivator. 
you know, one, it just looks a little too perfect for both. I'd like to see a little bit more messy looking, you know, plow and cultivating job. Just, you know, kind of what you'd see in real life. Reminds me, uh, was it Farming Simulator 13, maybe? Or 15? I think it was thir 13 for sure. You know, like the perfect textures there for plowing, cultivating, and seeding. Cool how the uh, lights light up there. That seems to be quite nicely done. And no, V does not lower the cultivator in this game. Anyway, on that note, folks, I think with that, maybe we'll uh, wrap up the episode here. We'll maybe uh, try to come back next episode, get a little more uh, with the uh, cows there. See what's what that's going to take. But uh, with that, if you have any other comments or questions, uh, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.